Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at Fantix newest small mini portable tire inflator. This is the Fantic X8. Now do not get this confused with the Fantic X8 Apex. That's a different bigger model with a bigger battery that is a little bit more powerful and airs up a little bit faster than this. This is their newer smaller portable model. So keep that in mind. And I do want to mention that they did send me this for testing and review. I've been using it now for about a month or two. And on the model that I got, it states that it has a 2600 milliamp hour battery and there is no USB-C in and out, only USB-C in. They confirmed with me that the production models are going to have a 5200 milliamp hour battery and a USB-C in and out. There's no way for me to confirm that without having one, but that's what they told me. So I'm just going by what they say. So if you guys do get one of these, please comment down below and let me know if it was updated in the production models. And I do believe this has a bigger battery than a 2600 milliamp hour battery because after I drained it and charged it back up, when I metered the power going into it while it was charging, I got about 4700 milliamp hours of input into it. So I'm pretty sure that the battery in this is bigger than 2600 milliamp hours. So now in today's test, we're gonna be putting this thing through its paces, airing up a full size truck tire from completely flat. And we're gonna see how long the battery lasts on that. We're gonna be putting it on a 26 by four inch fat tire e-bike and compare it to another small portable tire inflator I have and see which one wins. And then we're gonna be putting this on my son's race bike, airing it up to 110 PSIs because this is supposed to air up to 150 PSIs. So we're gonna see if it can handle that. Now, before we get into the testing, I'm gonna show you some of the features this thing has, which are pretty nice. However, there is one small downfall and that is the modes that this thing has. So it has five different modes. It has a standard mode, which you could set your PSI from three all the way up to 50 PSIs. Then it has a bicycle mode, which you could set from 30 PSIs up to 145 PSIs. And here's the only downfall is you cannot go lower than 30 PSI in bicycle mode. Now, some of my small four inch fat tire bikes, I usually run between 17 to 20 PSIs in them. So I cannot use bicycle mode on those. I have to just put it in standard mode, which is not that big of a deal. I can always just, like I said, put it in standard mode and put it from three PSIs all the way to 150. But that really would have been nice if they made every mode be able to do that and not give you a limitation in those preset modes. Then they have car mode, which goes from 26 to 50 PSIs, motorcycle mode, which goes from 26 to 43 PSIs, and ball mode, which goes from four to 16 PSIs. So now when you get this unit, it's gonna be defaulted to bar instead of PSI in the car and the motorcycle mode. Now you can go in easily by holding the button for three seconds and changing that over to PSI and then it stays and holds that when you shut the unit off and turn it back on. And that's something to know because I use PSI for everything, I don't use bar. And then also whenever you set your settings in here for each mode, when you shut the device off and turn it back on, the memory does hold those settings. So when you do turn the unit back on, it is already on the setting that you had before that. So that's really nice. I really like that it does have a memory feature that it remembers what you have it set at because I had a different tire inflator in the past that no matter what you had it set at, when you turn it off and turn it back on, it was always at some random weird number that I never used and always had to adjust it to what I need. So that's a really nice feature if you're using this to air up the same tire all the time and you need it to be the same pressure. Now, a few of the things that this thing comes with is a small adapter for airing up balls, another adapter for airing up small rafts, an adapter to go from Presta to Schrader, which I'll show you, I'll use it on my son's race bike when we air up that tire, and a USB-C charge cable for the device. The small pouch that they do give you is pretty nice because they do have a small pouch in this pouch that holds all your accessories. And when your accessories are in there and that's in the pouch, you can flip this thing over and they won't fall out. You won't lose them. So that's really nice how they did that and put that separate pouch in there. And you don't have to just put all your little accessories down inside the big pouch and then they get lost if the bag gets turned over or flipped upside down. So once they're in there, you could flip this thing over and they are not gonna fall out. So pretty nice on the small pouch. And then of course you could put this in there to protect it and carry it around. Another nice feature on this thing is they do have two little LED lights on each side of the fill valve. Now these aren't gonna be super bright LEDs, but it's definitely gonna be plenty enough to illuminate what you're hooking up to if it was dark out. You just hit the button here on the front, you have a solid mode, you have an SOS mode, and then you also have a slow flash mode. 
which is a pretty nice feature. So now let's go throw this on a few things and see how this thing performs. All right guys, so I got both the front and back tires on this four inch fat tire e-bike down to five PSI's. We're gonna try two different cordless compressors and see which one airs the tire up the fastest to 20 pounds. Five PSI on that one, five PSI on that one. All right, ready bud? One, two, three. See which one wins. That one's at seven, that one's at 7.3. Pretty close so far, but I think that one has the lead by about a half a pound, 13, 12 and a half. That one's done at two minutes and eight seconds. That one's on 18 and a half PSI. And that one's done at two minutes, 25 seconds. So the fan tick is definitely faster than the, I even forget the name of this one, guys. Psych, Psych Plus, I think, is what it's called. So far, so good. And one thing to know is these were both charged up when I started. The Psych Plus is down one battery bar, but the fan tick is still showing full power. I guess so now you can see that my truck tire is completely flat. There is zero PSI's in there. These rims go flat all the time because they leak because the aluminum is corroded and I haven't aired this one up for a while, but completely flat. We're going to see how long it takes to air it up to 36 PSI's. All right guys, so we are at 10 minutes into it. 15.2 PSI's in the tire so far, and we're down to half a battery. And the only thing I aired up before this was that 26 by four inch tire. All right guys, so we're on the last battery bar at 27.1 pounds. It's been 19 and a half minutes. So this thing's about dead. And it's been pumping for a good while, about two and a half minutes on the four inch fat tire. And then we're almost another 20 minutes into it. So right around 22 and a half minutes so far. Now they do say in a manual that this thing will run for 30 minutes with no load on it. We have a load on it here. So we're gonna get the actual time to see how long this thing will run before it shuts off. There it goes. So 20 minutes and 25 seconds straight run time. And I'm actually surprised that this thing's not any hotter than it is. I mean, it's not even warm to the touch. The hose is a little bit warm, but this is completely cool, not hot at all. So that's really nice that it must have some pretty good cooling on it. I think these are maybe vents on the side, but 20 minutes, 25 seconds. Let's see if we can turn it back on to get the pressure reading. 28.2 pounds, that 28.1, that was from completely empty on this large LT275 65R18 truck tire. That's probably a little bit overkill. Most of you guys that are gonna use this is gonna be for cars and bicycles and things like that. But that would give me enough pressure to get to a service station if I had to put a plug in the tire, if the tire was flat, had to put a plug in it and then go ahead and air it up. But that's with this, almost having a full charge other than that 26 inch fat tire that I aired up. So 20 and a half minutes straight here, another two and a half on that 26 inch fat tire. 
So that's about 23 minutes solid of runtime on one battery charge on this thing. They state 30 minutes in the manual when you don't have a load on it and you'll get about 23 minutes with a load. All right, so I got the Fantic X8 all recharged back up to 100%. Now this thing is rated to go up to 150 PSI. However, I don't have anything around here that I can air up to that pressure, but we are gonna air up my son's race bike tire here to 110 pounds using the Presta to Schrader valve adapter that they do give you. Right now it's at 18.3 pounds and this tire takes 110 pounds. So let's see how long it takes and if it can do it. Wow, no problem guys, it aired it up really easily to 110 PSI, so I'll definitely be taking this to the races to put air in his tires for sure. And one thing I really like about this Fantic X8 is that it's so small and portable, it fits really nicely into my Rock Bros bike bag here. You could put it vertically, it doesn't take up a lot of room in there, and gonna be really nice for taking on long rides and on the bike trail. And I think that's what's gonna make this nice more than anything is the small compact size. All right guys, so there's how the Fantic X8 performed. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. And if you guys think this is right for you, I'll leave an affiliate link down below where you guys can pick one of these up along with a coupon code that I do believe is gonna be good until the end of May. So if you guys wanna pick one of these up at a discount, make sure you guys use that code. And I will receive a small commission if you do use that code at no additional cost to you. So thanks for watching everyone. Let me know what you guys think of how this thing performed. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell. So I'll see you guys around on the next one. Thanks for watching everyone.